voice of a smartphone and a 5 pin from Airtel Zambia. Where are you? Oh, right now I'm in uh, Lusaka. Uh, if you are within Lusaka, that's very great. What you are going to do tomorrow, 10 hours, you should come with your NRC at our Airtel offices opposite Manda Hill so that you pick your smartphone. Do you have your NRC? Yes, I have. Mm. That's very great. Then the five pin is going to be transferred into your Airtel money just right now, right away. Is your Airtel money active? Yes, it is. That's very good if it's active. You can transfer right now the five thousand, but on man, but tomorrow don't forget to come with your any okay? Okay, thank uh, you. For confirmation, I would like to ask you a few questions before I transfer the five thousand. Yeah. When did you last buy talk time using your Airtel money? Uh the last time I bought it should be Yesterday or the other day. Yesterday or the other day. Yes. Okay, no problem. The last question. When you receive the 5,000, what's going to be your current balance on your Airtel money? Uh, I'm not too sure because I've not checked my balance. You haven't checked your, your balance. But if you're it, it like how much? Uh, I think if you transfer, it can be maybe uh, 6,000 if I'm not mistaken. No, we we'll have approximately 1,000. Yes. Okay, no problem. I'm going to send right now the 5,000, but uh, make sure that you don't forget to come with your NRC tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, please. The phone you have on is the Samsung M11. I know you enjoy the experience. Okay, okay. So I yes, need to please. come at your Airtel shop opposite Manda Hill? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, it's our main offices, actually. Your main office? Yes, please. Okay, thank you very much, yes. sir. You are welcome, my dear. And at this moment, I'm going to read for you the winners and the receivers codes for the 5,000. Which type of phone are you using? I'm using ITO. ITO. I mean, smartphone. not Techno, Techno. No, smartphone. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, you're supposed to, the one you have won the Samsung M11. I know you enjoy the experience. Samsung M11? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Can you put your phone on loudspeaker so that I can read for you the winner's codes and the receiver's codes for the 5,000? The... That I'm saying that you're supposed to receive two messages. Yes. One with the transaction ID and the other one with the four-digit numbers. Even if you will withdraw the money, don't delete the message because you have to present the transaction ID. Okay, so... Just a minute, sir. Sorry, you can... You can repeat the instruction so that I get it. Yeah, I'm saying I'm going to send for you two messages. Yes. One with the four digit numbers and the other one with the transaction ID. One with four digit numbers. And the other one with the transaction ID. Yes. Even if you will withdraw the money, don't delete the message because tomorrow when you are picking your smartphone, you are supposed to come with that message okay. for the transaction ID together with your NRC. All right. Yes, right now I'm going to read for you the winners and the receivers codes for your for your five thousand. You activate them, then you receive the five thousand just now. Can you put your phone on loudspeaker? Oh, so I need to write those digits. Yes, please put your phone on loudspeaker. Okay. Is it on loudspeaker? Yes, it is. Okay, then press the add call button on your screen. The yes. add code, the cross sign, the plus sign in your screen. Can you see it where it's written oh, add call? You, you can you can just. Uh, you, you can you can just uh, say the number, then I'll write on the floor, then I'll, I'll call to them later. No, you are going to activate them onto your phone just now. Activate them on the phone right now, as in how? Put your phone on loudspeaker, then press add call. Uh -huh. Have you pressed add call? Yes, I have. The cross sign? Yes. Okay, now you press star. Yes. Have you pressed star? Yes, I have. Then seven seven. Yes, seven seven. Eight hash. Eight hash. Yes. Then press OK. Then I press OK. You press send. Send. Yes. What message is there on your screen? I'm <laughs> Hello. Sorry. Sir. Yes. Uh, hello. Do you know that the uh, under normal circumstances, money is very difficult to find. Now this number is, is the official disqualified. Hello, sir. Are you able to get me now? Yes, I'm getting you. Yes, I was saying um, with a Joseph calling you from the NACO call center. Okay. So we are calling you in connection with our latest improvement. Your latest improvement? 
Yes, we are improving our street speed from a four digit number to a five digit number. From four to five? To five, yes, sir. Okay. And upon doing that, we are sending you the settings so that you can reset your new PIN number by yourself on your phone. Okay, how are you sending the, the settings? Uh, there are two messages coming on your phone. On my phone, like... Okay. Uh, uh, just right now, the first message is going to carry six digit configuration numbers for our system. Then the second message is going to have a provision and the instructions where you have to create in your new PIN number. Do I have to put in my old PIN number? I'm saying you can, if the choice is yours, you can either uh, add one number on the old one so that you make it to be five. Or you can come up with a, with a new one, it's up to you. Okay, so uh, when you are changing, does it require you to enter the old number, then you enter the new number that you do? Is you going to create your PIN number by yourself, not me? Okay, as we are just uh, okay, so, you um, okay, thank you very much. So I would love to ask you, uh, whom are you mm. talking to, since you are saying you are from the NACO call center? Mm. Whom are you talking to? Whom am I talking to? Mm. I'm yeah, talking my. to our customer. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm your customer quite all right, but I'm asking you, what is my name? If you're your customer, you should know me, you should know your customer by name. Aren't you Mr. Mr. Michel? No, I'm not Mr. Michel. Then you're home. Uh -uh, I'm asking you because you are the one who's saying you know me, so I'm asking you. So you tell me what are my full names? And I'll be able to assist you. I've 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 not I've not called me for interrogation. No, you you are not just me. Are you your accent is sounding like you're from Uganda or something like that? No, don't be stupid. If you are trying to steal money from people, don't try to to ask people to change their pins. That's how that is the new way that you've come up from for stealing. That's that those days you were sending people my WhatsApp. Now this time you've changed your strategy by calling people asking them for the, the message and then you, you want to, to start stealing my people's money. To me, you can't. And um, use, I'll use this number, I'll send, I'll forward it somewhere so that they can have it traced who you are exactly. You are getting Okay. Me. So stop. I'm going to be short. Eh? You're saying me boy shit. Yes. You Yes, I've caught you now. You see, you are just a fool. An idiot. You Thank you. You are the biggest I've ever back known. Back. You can't back to your dead mom. Go oh, and f*** to you. Starting from your grandmother, grandfather, everyone. Your mouth, your mouth thinks you yeah, like your mom. Whoa, okay. whoa. You can't steal you, you, fool. You look like a... You, <laughs> you, you wanted to do me a... a Good afternoon, brethren. I lost my money this morning around the nine hours when I was watering in the garden. What happened was, as I was watering, I received a phone call, someone pretending to be working under Ministry of Education. First and foremost, before he introduced himself, he asked me of how bad is the network where we are. I said, no, MTN network is somehow, no, it's not good. Then he said, we are working on that one. And what of the internet? I said, sometimes when you buy the bundles, they finish like he, they are not 750 bundles of five kwacha. So he said, no, we are working on our machines. Our machines are bad. So from there, that's how he introduced himself. That apart from working on the machines, we have this program, uh, MTN and the Ministry of Education. Uh, knowing that we are from COVID break, our pupils or our students went on uh, COVID break. I said yes. So we are working on how to go about, uh, you know, as a new government, we are working very much on uh, improving education. So knowing that we had the COVID break, we have decided or, uh, to send money or we have decided to disperse money to all districts so that at least those who have children from best from um, preschool to grade seven at least those of three children and above they can benefit from this covid 19 funds so he said you know 
Uh, in Chibombo district, you are among those parents who are going in phases. So we have chosen about to five to six hundred from Chibombo district. So you are among those. He even mentioned my full names, exactly what he, my full names are. Then he said, uh, in the conversation, check on your phone. I checked on the phone, there was no envelope. He said, no, uh, we have sent 1,500 so that this money can take you and make sure that you pay Kuma tutors for your children to continue their uh, uh, tuitions. Then I checked, I said, no, there is no envelope so far or any sign of any change. Then what he said is, oh, we have here in the um, in our machine it is showing that we have sent 1500 for for the start of three children check again if this money has reflected as i was checking i entered my pin number you cannot check your balance without you, uh, using your pin number while i was uh, changing or i was uh, checking uh, just after checking, I received the, or I saw an envelope which was reading, uh, you have authorized the uh, withdrawal of 1,500 from Betha Mwanza. So that guy, as he was calling, I told him, no, what I've received here is an approval of withdrawing 1,500 from Betha Mwanza. He said, no, as I said before, our machines have a problem. We are correcting this one. So he wait, I waited a bit. So when he called me again, he said, no, I think our machines are back uh, to normal. You check again what is happening or how much is in your account. So I said, no, since now this money is reinvested, let me check. He, as he asked me, why, how much, you know how much money you had yesterday? I said, yes, I know. When I was checking again to see whether that 500, 1,500 was put back, unfortunately, I was pro approving another withdrawal of uh, 120 kwacha. So now, I did that one, at, at least the second one was saying, kindly approve as it comes the withdrawal of 110 kwacha to uh, Alex Chilwa. Then I saw that's where I became suspicious and called by MTN. You know, program here by MTN, you enter this number, you enter this number, the all agents are quite big, by, busy by the time. I was able to go through, uh, the man who was on charge, he said, let me check. That's when he said, all oh, the money is uh, withdrawn. Then he advised me to go to the police with those messages. I went to the police and reported to the police. So my dear brothers, who are, whosoever is using this WhatsApp or who are always on WhatsApp, I urge you, I plead, and I plead to you, my brothers, if someone, in any occasion, if you know that you didn't do any transaction, or you didn't tell anyone to do a transaction, don't ne never enter your PIN number because immediately you enter your PIN number to check your balance, your monies are gone. That's how I lost my money, my brothers and sisters. Make sure that you forward this message to all others in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.